Hey there, Cloud here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Infinite Fusions. <laughs> hey there, Cloud here. Welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 World Change. For those of you who are new, Sims 4 World Change is essentially where I'm going through every single lot and in every single world of The Sims 4 and changing them using build challenges. It has been a hot minute since I've done it so you know I'm finally back and all that jazz. I definitely needed a break because it's one of those things where you played Sims for a good hot minute and then you leave The Sims for a good hot minute okay. I have not followed anything via The Sims 4. I don't know what is new and all that jazz besides horses. I saw that was a big thing at one point and I was just like oh I'm not getting into that just yet. So, <laughs> for this challenge, I'm gonna go ahead and do a shell challenge, okay? Essentially, I'm gonna use this this house. It's, it's a terrible looking house, in my opinion. But essentially, the shell challenge is I cannot change the walls, I cannot change the roofs. I can change the design of it, but that's pretty much all I can do, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna make it Halloween themed because it is Halloween and I hope that y'all are being safe on Halloween, okay? Try to be safe, please. <laughs> Very important. But let's get into it. Okay, first off, if we wanna make it Halloween themed, we're gonna go with the usual black and um black and orange coloring. I know it's very like overdone and all that jazz, but I do want to do something like that, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. The thing is, for the chimney, I don't know what color I want it to be, you know? I want it to be kind of like... You know what, let's let's do the regular walls first, the siding and all that jazz. Maybe that'll help us, okay? Because I don't... I don't? I do that all the time. I don't know if I want it to be... Or, oh, that's not terrible. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Very orange. <laughs> I'm not a fan of orange. I mean, I like orange, but I'm not like a super fan of it. Uh, I definitely want this thing, this trim right here. I want it to be black. Oh, that's... Oh, that'll work. That'll definitely work for what we need it for. Thank you for working. Now, let's go ahead and change the fences as well. I mean, I can change the design, so it's totally fine. I think I'll go with a black. I think that would be be beneficial for making it into a Halloween themed house okay and then I definitely want to change the flooring as well is this tile yes okay good to know I don't want everything to be orange I do Ooh, I kind of like that though Ooh, I don't know I, I I like this too this one's nice but I kind of like this one a little more but part of me wants to go with a black type of thing Okay, maybe we do something like that or maybe even like this for the ground. I think that looks nice and then we can keep like a different type of orange up here. I would like an orange that kind of matches this one. That way it doesn't like stand out too much. But at the same time, I like the darker one. So we're going to keep it. I'm probably going to regret it later. Let's be real. But um, it's fine. Well, I really wish I could... I could shrink this by like just one block. Okay, that's all I need. I just need to. Sh oh, I don't have my cheat on. Now, do we just. <laughs> We're not doing that. Oh, this is terrible. What if we did like. We can add on walls. Like, even though it's a shell challenge, there's no rules stating that we cannot add on walls. Okay. So we're gonna do that, okay? I mean, granted, it's not the best looking, but it's not terrible, okay? Ooh, wait, I like this chimney. And there's nothing that... Ma I mean, we could go with that. That's not terrible. Okay, now we gotta figure out what to do with this thing, because that looks terrible on its own, and we can't exactly... I mean, we could do something like that. <laughs> It's not ideal, but it fits and it doesn't look- Oh, look at that. I kind of like that. Okay. Okay, now we want it to be spooky, but like in a way that people will think, Oh, it's a nicely decorated home for the spooky season and all that jazz. Okay. We don't want to like make it too run down because I've built run down houses and that takes forever and I have to build. Okay. Yeah. As much as I would like to build that type of house, I do not have the time to be building it because it can take me 
upwards of 12 hours to build an abandoned house okay and this is this is a small house too okay but i think the smaller bushes you know what no maybe the trees are in hibernation but the bushes aren't okay we don't have to be completely dead with our with our shrubbery okay but it does look a little weird if we don't have dead shrubbery you know okay i will figure out the rest of the shrubbery later okay Let's start with the front. Um, I definitely have to figure that out. That's not a chimney. Whoever built this house, I need them to leave. Okay, because I am so offended right now. I thought it was a chimney. I got excited. I was like, okay, this is going to have to go here because it goes well. And um, it's not a chimney. I don't even know what this is because the kitchen was originally here. I can add a wall though, right? There's no nothing in the rules saying that I can't add walls. It's just when I have to delete walls that I'm not allowed to do. Okay. Okay, first let's figure out a door. Okay, let's go with that door. And then we gotta figure out a window that'll match with it. I mean, that's a nice window. We could do that. That is a lot of windows, but it's fine. And then I think we will just go ahead and bring this door here. I kind of want a simpler door back here though. Just because. Oh, but I don't know. This this door is nice too. I don't know. Normally doors are... Okay, you know what? It's a fancy backyard, okay? Can I put a pool back here? I can. Okay. Well, fancy we're going because I am not changing it now. I have already added it. Luckily, this isn't the no mistakes challenge. Otherwise, I shouldn't be putting those doors there. I mean, those windows there because I might not even use them. Let's be real. So the inside, I kind of want it to be opposite. For the main area, I definitely want it to be more of black. Ooh, maybe not like that. I want it to be a little bit more formal in the main area. And then we will have a kid's room and the parent's room. Okay, I think these are the wallpapers and the flooring that I'm going to go with for these, uh, for the rooms and all that jazz. I now need to figure out window, uh, windows, uh, doors and archways because I'm not sure entirely what I want to use. Like part of me wants to use this archway for the kitchen. It's quite nice, but I'm like, where do I put it? Do I want to put it here? But then should I shrink it down so it's a singular arch? You know, like, there, there's a lot of things that kind of play into this and all that jazz. And I'm not entirely certain what I should be doing. Okay, I think I like that archway uh, for the kitchen. Uh, for the master, for the bedrooms in general and the bathrooms and all that jazz. They should definitely be like plain and shouldn't stand out too much. But shouldn't like completely destroy the integrity of the home not that it's gonna destroy the integrity of the home but you know it's fine that should be okay i do think i like it like that i'm not entirely certain but let's go ahead and just start decorating maybe we'll move things around i think the easiest to start with would be the kitchen and i definitely want like orange to be brought back into this because orange has been getting a little neglected since I've been using black and brown and uh, I'm not sure where orange will fit into all this but you know what it's fine I don't like any of these countertops I mean I could do that but eh, I'd rather have like actual cabinets okay I am not sure if I'm liking how this is looking so far like this would have been nice if it came in a not oh wait that that could potentially work the jewel is throwing me off though it's pretty but it's throwing me off like heavily maybe just a plain fridge and i i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna change the counters because i'm not a fan of how it looks uh let's put that there we definitely need a stove i almost called it a fridge but we already have a fridge so we don't need a second one okay this kitchen is very small but that's okay we don't need a big kitchen okay as long as it gets the job done let's get a washing machine because we all love washing but let's put it at the end i think that would probably be better for everyone we really did not bring in any orange oh we forgot a trash can oh i forgot a trash can y'all didn't forget it i did we can put it there this counter is no longer usable though so i don't know can we put it outside is that weird <laughs> that is a little weird okay well what if we get like the trash can like this and then just yeah 
it's not terrible it's not the best and it's right next to the main bedroom but you know maybe these people are just kind of weird like that you know i want to try to bring in some sort of orange but you know orange is a lot it's a loud color it's a very loud color i think that doesn't look terrible but it blends in so much that you can barely kind of see it i like this green <laughs> It does not yell spooky, so let's try to decorate somehow. I don't know how we're going to decorate in this small space, but maybe we can find something. Okay, well, the only thing that I saw was a spider, and that's already pretty spooky on its own. So <laughs> let's just go with that. Okay, so I definitely not sure if I want the dining room here or if I want the living room in this area. It's very difficult, so I'm going to go ahead and do the bathroom real quick, and then we can move on to the kids' room. Okay, so this is the bathroom complete. I'm not sure if I like the red with the brown and the black and the, the silver. And uh, there's a lot of colors going on in here, okay? It's a, it's a little much for me. I'm going to move on to the, the kid's bedroom, okay? Okay, so the kid. I'm not really sure how old I would like for them to be, okay? I could try to keep it, you know, within a kid range, which would be like, what? 8 to 10? Not 8 to 10. Oh my gosh, that's a very small range. It would be like between 3 and 13. Pretty much around that, I would say. I like the idea of there being this thing right here where it's kind of blocking the, um, the window a little bit. And then of course I'm gonna put curtains. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm definitely not gonna just leave it open like that. But I like the idea of it. And then like, you could still have it a little bit open that way you can just let in some light if you want to or we could just completely cover it with these do we want a magical kid i kind of like the idea we're not gonna do it but maybe we can do a different type of thing do we want twins i want to use this mirror which means this might not work how i would like for it to because then we got to change the color of this I mean, yeah, yeah that, that, that could work. Okay. Okay, well, I, I definitely want to center it around this. I love this mirror. I've never used it. So I want to center it around that. Okay, so what kind of kid do we want? Do we want like a teen? I kind of want a teen in here. I always make it for a teen and I don't know why, but meh, it's whatever. Okay, the colors are kind of matching, sort of. It's fine, we don't have to talk about it. There we go, we brought in just a wee bit more orange. Okay, I kind of like that so far. I, I, I <laughs> My choices are have always been terrible. I've accepted this, but you know, sometimes they can look nice and it, we'll just have to make it work and all that jazz. That matches with the, it doesn't actually, but it looks nice with the blinds, okay? And I kind of like it, which is kind of a problem, but because it doesn't match with the rest of the furniture, but we're gonna pretend it does, okay? Now let's give them, oh, I love this chair. Can I see it? Please get out of my way wall. It's so cute. Look at it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess you're not getting a lamp unless we can get a nice floor lamp. I think floor lamps would look lovely in here. Granted, it doesn't really fit. I mean, it fits there, but can we get a nice color? Okay. Well, that lamp isn't going to work. Do we have a different lamp that can work? Okay, I like the rose gold on this one. It doesn't match though, so I might just go with the gold and the black base. Which also doesn't match in here, but eh, I don't really want to... I mean, we could do that. Uh, I want to bring in more color though. Do they have carpet already, but do we really want to put a rug in here? It's going to be terrible, let's be real. Rugs and carpets are not meant to mix, okay? They really aren't. But at the same time, how can you deny the look of a cute rug in here, you know? If I can find a cute rug that matches well into this room, because right now there's a lot going on. <gasps> oh no, that's perfect. Oh my god, I love it. Oh... It has the flowers, it's red, you know. Maybe we can we can do that, bring in the red a little bit more. Oh, I love it. Okay, okay, I like this room, except for this thing. I don't like this dresser, but we could pretend that it's a nice dresser, okay? 
Maybe we could put a painting up? Granted, the walls are very busy. I, I, I don't know if a painting would look nice against these walls. I mean, it can. Okay, well, maybe if I stick to the teenage theme as I should have been, we can just put up posters. Or we could put this up too, you know? It goes with the theme, <laughs> sort of. Okay, the teenager's room is done. It's not ideal, but I'm gonna go with it. Maybe I should make it white instead so it matches the trim a little bit. A little bit more gray that way. It, eh, but I like the dark color of it. It just sucks that I can't change the wood and then keep the coloring that I want. Because I didn't want to bring in the red like that. Because now this orange looks completely off and it's... I mean... <laughs> I guess I can just do that. Okay, but then now the chair doesn't match because it's there's nothing... Okay, you know what? No. I mean, the chair didn't match to begin with. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Just leave it as it is. Don't touch it anymore. Let's do this area now. Okay, so it's a family of three. So we can have a small dining area, which isn't terrible. That actually makes it a lot easier. But let's figure out a nice table first because I don't know. Ooh, I like that one. Is there a crystal ball in here that I should know about? Because I would love to have one. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that for now. Maybe we'll change it. Maybe we won't. Who knows? But let's find something else that can kind of match the whole galaxy theme that I'm seeing going on. Even though it's supposed to be a Halloween theme. But we can kind of... We can put them two together. It's okay. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is the matching one. Can we get you? Yes. Let's do red, I think. That'll help the tablecloth pop out more. We'll have this changed. If you were red and black, sure, but you're not. So we're gonna just keep it like that. Hope no one notices. Okay, I think this area is pretty much finished. I I wanted to add more and I, I don't know what else to add. Honestly, I, I'm really bad with coloring. Like, I wanted to make this black, but then when I tried to make this black, I didn't like it as much. I like it with that coloring. Or at least, like, I don't know. Just something different, you know? And, um, maybe I'll keep it like that. I'm not sure, because uh, this one, I definitely like black, but this one I like red. And this coloring of the shades is totally throwing me off. Maybe I can do something like that. I don't know. I prefer it with the black and the yellow, but I I could be wrong. Maybe I'll I'll look at it again later and be like, oh, maybe I should have changed it back. And then I added these aprons up here. I thought it was kind of cute. It's in the way, but realistically, I will. I, I think it's cute. So it's staying there. That doesn't look terrible. Definitely change it to a darker color. There is a lot of coloring going on in these rooms and um i'm not here for it but it's fine there isn't really much we can do at this point okay so we're just gonna have to go with it okay so i don't know what to put here i do want it to make it seem like they are still normal people okay but at the same time now that everything's a specific like style i i don't really want to change it too much okay I don't know if I want this white though. I do like it though, so I'm I'm not gonna like change it or anything. And then we definitely want a welcome mat of sorts. The thing is, I don't know what to welcome mat to use. I really like this one here. I think because this bag is blue that I'm just like, oh, this looks nice here and it's pink, so it's tying in the colors. So I, I kind of like it there. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that there, okay? Let's just go ahead and put in a nice lighting fixture above. Yes, there are cobwebs everywhere. Okay, well not everywhere. It's just like in a few select places. But let's be real. How often do people actually like dust and all that jazz, okay? Not a lot of people dust. Okay, I don't know if I like that lighting like that. It's super dark over here, but uh, it's... That's just what they're gonna have to deal with, okay? Okay, so now we can finally move on to the living room. Okay, so first off, uh, spooky? No, <laughs> let's not do that. Okay, don't judge me, okay? But <laughs> uh, I, I didn't know how best to 
do this, okay? So I decided, oh, maybe we could put it at a slant. That way people can still go around. They won't have to, like, walk in front of the TV to get to the back door. Because I originally had the couch here, the TV here. And it uses up this space. <laughs> yeah, and we're just gonna... We're gonna put a chimney here, okay? It makes no sense for this to be here. But I'm going to do it. And uh, I'll regret my life choices later. Okay? And look, 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 look. I can go ahead and put a divider here as well. Actually, can I put a divider there? Because I'm not certain if the sim... Yeah, they, they should... They'll fit. They'll be fine. Okay, see? We were even able to section off the area and everything. Look at that. That... <laughs> it could be better. It could be a lot better, but we don't have to talk about it. Move on to the main bedroom. Now, this is the parents' room. We're gonna make sure that they get the best of the best. I say best of the best. It's not gonna happen. Okay. I, I, I can live with it. Do I want to live with it? No, not really. But... I don't have much options in terms of orange beds that look nice, okay? Now, do we want to put plants? Plants say life. They don't say Halloween. I mean, I guess some plants can. But uh, maybe we shouldn't. Oh, <laughs> We're doing this. I'm sorry, but oh my goodness. It's, it's perfect. I, I guess we can just do that. It's fine. They don't have to have like a dark room, maybe they, they, they can have a nice lit room and all that jazz. Or not lit, but a bright room, excuse me. Ah, uh, there's too many windows. Okay, so that is the bathroom for the parents. Um, pretty much finished. I, I like how it turned out. It's, it's simple enough. It does the job. It got rid of the windows. It's fine. We don't need the windows. Let's go ahead and just, you know put some curtains as well because they kind of at least deserve that much you know i do wish we had like this curtain but like wait can i i can't let's go <laughs> okay that's fine well we'll just do this then that actually makes my life a whole lot easier by being able to do that okay Okay, I think this is pretty much the house complete, so let's take a quick look around. We have a bunch of pumpkins in the front. We have all the spooky decorations up. We have skulls all over the, um, the frame of the house and all that jazz. We have nice pumpkins out here. We have a pumpkin light over here. Maybe we could even have a little bit more friends for the poor little pumpkin light. Okay, thank you. And then they have a grill, they have um, outdoor trash. I'm surprised that they don't have a blue for recycling, but whatever, the Sims don't need to recycle. The garbage just kind of goes wherever it wants to go, okay? But here is the front. I am not a fan of this. I might actually change it in just a moment. But there's a skeleton here. He's gonna make sure that you don't take the entire bowl. Do not take the entire bowl. You take one or two pieces from the bowl if they just leave it outside. I don't know why people just take the whole entire bowl, even the bowl itself. Y'all need to have some self-control. I'm just saying. But uh, but yeah, here is the front door where like you have a nice little light out here. They're ready to welcome you and all that jazz. So we go in and we are greeted by the living room right away. It looks not terrible, but it's not the best either, okay? And to our right, we have the nice little entryway. It looks better in first person than it does up there, okay? It, it does, okay? I I'm just saying. <laughs> we have a nice little dining area. You can have your crystals red or whatever this is gonna be for. It's just light, okay? Just eat there. Don't think about it too much. So through this door, there is the bathroom. It, oh, it is very tight in here, so let me get up here real quick. So there is a bathtub right here, there is a sink right there, and there is a toilet right here. The color scheme is not the best, but it's not terrible. I kind of like it. I do wish the walls were just a little bit darker, but it's fine. Don't think about it too much. We come back out, there's a fireplace over here, there's the back door. This is the main, this is the master bedroom, but we don't have to think about it right now. So we go in through here. There are nice little aprons here for whenever you just want to cook or whatever. I know it's a little high for most people. Normally it would be like right here or something. But I like it there for some reason. So don't, don't, don't ask me. 
I like it there, we're keeping it there, okay? Uh, the trash can is out here, there was not space inside the kitchen, so we don't have to talk about it. There is a microwave, the dishwasher, there's a sink, and yeah, the usually, usually what you would expect from a kitchen, it is there, okay? So, we go first into this bedroom, off over to the side, and it is the teenager's bedroom. I like how it looks, I like, but I wish I could change the orange walls. That's all I could say, but I, I do want it to be spooky theme, so we're sticking with the spooky theme. But it's fine. <laughs> Maybe this is the wallpaper they chose as a kid, they never changed it, so they, they're slowly starting to shift from when they were a kid to a teenager, okay? Maybe that's what it is. We don't have to talk about it. But they have nice stuff, I like it. And then back out here, past the living room and the dining room and all that jazz, uh, we have the parents' bedroom. It is a little bit tight up here as well, but you know what? This house is small, we don't gotta talk about it. They have paintings of dead relatives and all that jazz. They have skeletons to guard them while they sleep. They have paintings here that they're kinda... They ran out of storage basically and they just put it there. And they never wanted to change the mirror, but you know, it fits their Halloween aesthetic or something like that. I don't know. But if we go up here, there is the bathroom. I like the bathroom. It's not too much. It's, I don't like the orange with the blue and the teal. Maybe we can at least change this one, you know, change it to a black. Yeah, that, that makes it a little bit better, but I'm not a fan of this orange with this blue. But we, we don't have to talk about it. Then back out here, I already went through here. But they have a pool. Go around like that and then voila, it's finished. But yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed the build. Uh, which room was your favorite? I think my favorite room would have to be the living room. I like it for some reason. I, I'm not gonna question it. It's just what I like, okay? Let me know what your favorite room was. If you have any build challenges you would like me to try out, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Again, happy Halloween and I hope that y'all are staying safe. If you like this video and you want to see more by me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below. I hope that y'all are having a lovely day, night, evening, whatever time of day you're currently watching soon. My name is Cloud and I will see you in the next video of whatever I make.